Hey, this is Brian, and we're getting back. This is the last video I'll post up before we start getting into legitimate car audio stuff. Um, I think there, there's a set of questions that everybody should ask themselves before they go all in with the car audio system. Do you want louder car audio, or do you just want to hear what you already have more clearly? The big difference there. Second question, another very simple question. Do you drive with the windows up or with the windows down? And that's asking generally. I know it depends on the season a lot, but in the summer, do you drive with the windows down a lot or do you still drive with them up? I wish I would have asked myself these questions before I started doing car audio stuff. Believe it or not, sound editing makes just as big of a difference as adding new speakers or a stereo. It makes a, a very pronounced difference. There are three different types of sound deadening. The first being vibration dampers. If you saw my Noiko sound deadening review, that's what a vibration damper is. In a car, there's lots of vibration. You're moving 3,000 plus pounds of metal and plastic down the road. There's going to be some vibration. The two most common places people um, put this stuff is on the insides of their doors and in their trunk if you have a subwoofer. The general consensus on these products is that the more vibration you can prevent, the less annoying and the more clearly you will be able to hear your speakers or a subwoofer. And that, that's particularly bass also. It, it helps clean up bass response because bass vibrates things. The second type of sound deadening is uh, sound absorbing materials. I remember when I first got a, uh, a subwoofer in my trunk, I wanted to insulate the trunk. And I did it with old R19 insulation. Uh, that's house insulation. Uh, not only did the trunk get a little bit quieter, uh, but it also now stays cool in the summer. That's a plus. The thing with household insulation, though, is you cannot get it wet. Do not get it wet. They make other types of actual acoustical in, uh insulation built to go in cars. And this this blocks high frequencies mainly. Really high frequencies. Maybe like some wind noise or sharp pinging, whatever. It won't block the main part of your road noise. The best thing for killing sound in your car is an actual noise barrier or a barrier product. It's sound blocking material. And it doesn't have to be anything special either. It has to be limp or flexible and it has to be heavy and that's pretty much it. The mass loaded vinyl material used in this Second Skins Audio Luxury Liner Pro is the preferred product or the preferred material to do this with. Mass loaded vinyl is the going thing. I want to give you a quick review of this uh, Luxury Liner Pro MLV or mass loaded vinyl with a closed cell phone backing. This stuff did wonders for me. Uh, it, it cut down some road noise. I was going to spend about 150 bucks on a new subwoofer or something uh, one day, and I was just ready to go, but I decided to give this sound deadening a try for once. I figured if I could make my car quieter, I wouldn't need such a loud stereo. Because I, at the time, I was actually giving myself headaches listening. So, not good. I laid the the Luxury Liner Pro on my floorboards and I've got an old Toyota Avalon so it's already a kind of quiet car and I had I didn't notice much of a difference until I turned my stereo on and when I turned it on I had to turn my volume down several notches from where it normally is and so that's a big difference all right cuz I mean I cut like three or four decibels of road noise which is no which is barely noticeable but the, it made a big difference in how much stereo power I need so yay my end summary of this video is that I heavily encourage uh, anybody that's looking to get into car audio or just wants to nice sound in their car to really really dig in and consider sound deadening uh, before they go in with a car audio system because you know not everybody loves a loud stereo but everybody I think everybody likes a quiet car 
In my next video, we'll finally be getting into an audio system and we'll be talking about how to plan it out. Please feel free to ask questions and I will do my best to answer them. And please subscribe if you want more car audio information.